What's up, YouTube? We finally back. We've been, we've been gone for about a good two, three months after this coronavirus pandemic. So I'm about to go ahead and hop into a, a quarantine haircut. He ain't get a haircut the whole quarantine. He waited for me. He's one of my loyal clients too. He he, he also sent me money too through Cash App when I was when I wasn't working. He's like man, I know you under you self-employed, so you ain't making no money right now. So I'm just gonna pay for my haircuts earlier than when I come to the shop. You just cut them like that. That was real cool. You know, he been down with me for a minute. He did a he did a hair show with me too. A hair show I was in. He was one of my models too. He been with me for a minute, so you know how you gotta do it with those. But anyway, I'm about to get him right. I'm about to bring him all the way back to life in this haircut. Now you can see his beard crazy. I had to take a before and after picture, actually, that's why I had my phone. Because this is crazy. He ain't get a haircut at all. He just just went like that. I'm about to change his whole image. Like his whole life about to change. In a matter of 15 minutes. <laughs> we go ahead and hop into this. Listen, just letting y'all look at it, see everything. You know, see it from all angles. Alright. Now I, I'm back with the masters. Yeah, I, at first I was I didn't use masters a lot, but now I'm using the Andes Masters. I got my Red double zero guard on there, and I'm going with the grain. I'm still taking the wavelength. It's still gonna be dark, but just low. But not as high as it is, as you can see. But anyway, yeah, I um, like doing the whole quarantine, I was at home just cutting myself. And like, I left my clippers, I had my regular clippers at the shop that I use. I got two of clippers. I got some, some clippers that I use for myself at home too. And they just, the clippers that I use at home ain't nothing but some, I was basically just my old extra clippers, my backup clippers that I really don't use like that. So I was giving myself a, um, a haircut at home. I was doing my taper and aligning. And then I'm using the masters. I'm like, hold on, these, the fade on here, they look a little different from the fade with the walls that I'm used to. Cause like, believe it or not, your clippers do two, do two different fades. Like your walls and your Andy's masters can put two different fades on a haircut it, it, it's, it sounds crazy but it's true so when I was doing my hip my um taper and lining I'm like hold on man these masters kind of they kind of cool they kind of hidden so I said you know I'm gonna go ahead and buy me some so I bought these purple ones because they different I like the color of those and I'm like no I'm gonna go ahead and um, buy me some some more of these I'm gonna take them to the shop with me that's what I did I was watching, the, since I've been at home, I've been watching a couple YouTube videos, and I was seeing uh, um, some barbers using the masters. Shout out Cassie T. I don't, I don't know if y'all know him or not. Young guy. Oh, cool. Nice with the clippers. But he was doing a, um, a taper with the masters. And I like how it came out the same way mine came out on my head. And I'm like, hold on. It's the masters that's doing this. It gotta be. So... You know, I had to hop back in the masters for a minute. So now I'm working with the masters and the walls. I'm just giving everybody, trying to get everybody some A1 phase. That's all. So we still just going ahead and just knocking this down, continuing, all even going with the grain. See, I got my face mask on. But you know, we go just moving everything out. Like now, the masters is like a a pivot, pivot motor. So it's not really, these not really that fast. So you gotta probably gotta keep going over your work just to get it straight. Now I'm blow drying it right now. I use a blow dryer now because for sanitation reasons, you don't want to use neck dusters that's nasty and they illegal too. So we just use the blow dryer now. Put it on cool, blow your client off, All right. quick and clean. Now you better start with that back taper. Now I got my masters open all the way up. I'm just going up. Not going up too high, but just, you know, going up below the ear. Now, now that I'm lower, I'm closing. I, I got them closed all the way. So it's going to leave it with a balder look. I'm just opening them up a little bit as I go up. When I go up, I open them. When I go low, I close them all the way up. Up, open, low, close. I'm not got them closed because they low. I'm just cleaning it up. <clears throat> Make sure everything neat because like I said, when people got a lot of hair and they come from knocking out taking out their hair off, 
it, it be looking crazy. So you gotta make sure you get all that hair neat. You gotta make sure everything neat on here. Now I got my double O guard on there, all the way closed. I'm just flicking up. I got my comb with me too. And just flicking that little guideline that we got inside there out. That comb is, is making sure I see everything, make sure everything is smooth, making sure everything is laid down so I can see the way it's flowing. Just combing it out. Now I got my guard off. And I got it all the way open. I'm just flicking up. Just flicking up. It's the, this is actually where I, where I faded the line at with my double O guard, but I'm just flicking. Now, as you, as you see, I got my rear double O guard on there now, and I'm just going with the grain, just moving it down. This is just a smoother. When, you, when you're going down with the grain, you just want to make sure you're getting everything smooth, everything laid out, so you can see how, how the fade is coming up. Now, we're hitting the back with the liners and these tail liners. You're just going around the ear. You want to make sure you get everything. Like, because when, you, when clients come from with a lot of hair, they be having a lot of hair behind their ears too, cause the hair just be a, a long, the hairlines are sticking out long. So you make sure you want to cut all that off. Just get around the whole ear. Even if they can't see behind their ears, and nobody else can see behind their ears, you still want to do it. You know, gotta make sure. Maybe starting off with the line, starting my the middle, go all the way to the end, lightly touching. You ain't gotta go back in too far. Just trying to get them crispy the best way I can. Just hitting it. That's it. Just tapping with a little small tap. Like these liners are already good. They basically get already crispy. So all I gotta do is just touch it really. And here's the Barber Magic Pencil. These right here, is this, I like to use this all the time, y'all y'all know by now. But his hair is like already crispy, so, so this is going to make it look extra crispy. And it's like, I don't know what it is, but it's like when clients take a while to get a haircut, and then when they come and finally do get a haircut, it come out way better. Because everything grew out, the line grew out, look, at, look, everything came out better. Everything grew out, the line, beard. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of good, really. Hitting it with the taper. You know, I'm balding it right now. I'm doing the ball taper on the side. And this TL line is balding. Touching it. Now I got my masters. I'm going up. It's like my first time doing the haircut with the masters in the shop. Because I never really used the masters. I was always on the walls, but. I had to get versatile. So that, that quarantine, it, it bought some new stuff out and new techniques out. You know what I'm saying? Because if it wasn't a, a quarantine, I probably wouldn't be using masters right now. I'd probably be using the same clippers that the walls that I got. But after a while, when you're just trying to do stuff, you realize, oh, you know what? These kind of cool. It's like having a, your favorite pair of clippers, right? Then your favorite pair of clippers go out. So you got some backup clippers, and you use those backup clippers that you really didn't use because they weren't your favorite. Then you realize, like, dang, these kind of good. And this whole time I ain't been using them because I already got a favorite. Now, so I've been sleeping on my own clippers, you know what I'm saying? So now I get a chance to see, oh, okay, so damn, these clippers was, these was, these could have did the job the whole time. I, was, I just didn't want to use them because they wasn't my favorites. So now it's like, I'm versatile now. I'm, I'm just going all over with the clippers now. Getting that mustache. So like I said, the quarantine was kind of good because he let his beard grow out at the most that he wanted. You know what I'm saying? Like he wanted his beard like this, but he was getting a haircut every week. He wasn't being patient with letting it grow out, but now it's like, okay, now I gotta let it go now. I ain't got no other choice, so that's what, I, that's what it is. Now we got that Barber Magic pencil on there. Just touching it, and it's gonna make it crispy. Give it that extra extra crisp. And what I'm doing now, I'm just fading the the, the beer into the taper. That's one thing you want to do too. You don't want it looking all crazy. So we're just gonna fade that in just a little bit. Nothing too much. Now you got the hair fibers touching the beard. This is gonna make it extra crispy and make it pop a little more. 
make it fresher. No, I just ain't nothing spectacular, nothing too much. Just look at that. Decent. And they will do the same thing to this side. I like when I do my hair because I'd like to do one side first, then do the other side. That way it'll look like I can I got a mirror basically. I can go back to this side and see how it is and say, okay, cool, let me go back to this side. Let me make sure I do it this way. So that's why I do this side first, then the other side. And like when you do it, you want to do your strong side first. Because I mean some people say, I know some people say you probably want to do your weak side first, but I do my strong side first so I can copy it with my weak side. You know what I'm saying? I can go, when, I, when I'm doing my weak side, I can go back and look at the good side and say, okay, I want it to look exactly like this. And let's go back to it. Now look, with this lining, I'm not going back into it too much so you can see like, it's still light. You can, actually, you still see the line, but it's not definite. It's faint because I'm not going back into his line. It's he thin on this side. It's like, I think everybody got a thin side on their hairline. And like you can still see the lining, but it's just it's just thin. So we're gonna get them enhancers to go ahead and fill it in a little bit. So I'm balding it with the taper. That's the first thing I like to do is bald it. Now I'm putting my barber magic pencil on there. I, like I said, this is gonna be my guy, but since he's, he has a faint, faint lining, I want to see the line and I want to see where my taper is going to. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the fibers and a magic pencil just so I can see where I want the taper at. So I'm just going to touch it up with the liners again, get it crispy how I want it. And now I'm like, okay, now I can see how I want the taper and how high I want the taper. Okay, now we got the Andy's Masters and we're going up. Now I got these are all the way open now. Going all the way up. Now I'm closing them because I'm going lower. The lower you go, the more you close them. That's what I'm doing now. I got, they got them all the way closed. I'm just going up. I'm not touching that line. I touched that line when I had them all the way open. Now I got a double O guard on there. Now I'm just flicking out. Don't leave the, cl the clipper on his, on his head. Just flick out. And it's a whole different feeling too because the masters are a little heavier than the walls. So it is a whole different feeling too. But I, I'm going to get used to them. I'm going to keep using them. And we just flick out. Just flick out. Same thing with any other clip. Just flick out. It's just the main thing you got to do. Flick out. Now you about to touch that beard. Make sure that side, just like the other side, just tap it. Then you go around it. Touch it too. Just touch it around the whole thing. Getting it crisp. You can see it's already basically crisp. Like I said, you know, when your hair grew out for a long time, those be the best haircuts because they come out, they pop. Because everything grew back. All the natural hair grew back. All the baby hairs grew back all that hair that extra hair grew back it's like yeah now you can line it and you can get it to where you want it to be now instead of you doing it every week doing the same thing and cutting the same hair you know what i'm saying so, it's, so that's a good thing too i'm just gonna line it up as you can see it's coming out a1 look at that pretty decent but i hit up the razor line and this is gonna make it extra extra crispy this is the extras. Like some haircuts, you ain't, you ain't gotta use a razor on all the time, but I'm just doing it cause, you know, this is my guy right here, and I'm just making it look crispy. So I'm just getting that razor. I'm going against the grain when I do my razor. Why? Because it leaves like a crispier cut to me. Like it's cool to go with the grain. You know, everybody got their own preference, but to me going against the grain leave, have, gives it a crispier look. And I, it lets me know that it's cutting. Now I'm just getting the extras on his forehead. Cause it's extra heavy on the forehead that just be sitting there. Just wanna get those out. That's why I'm just touching it. Now we do the same thing with the beard, just tap it. Going against just just crispy in it. That's it. Just touching it. That's all we doing. But yeah, YouTube, we back. And I'm gonna keep going consistent, y'all. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, and let me know, and I'm gonna keep dropping these videos for y'all. Every week, hopefully. Peace.